Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting things done in programming. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what gets things done in programming? Is it communication? Is it perseverance? What, what is it? Is it a combination? And I think this is a great question. The short answer is number one, skills. Number two, communication. Number three, the bigger picture. Let me explain. So, the first thing, skills. I hope that feels fairly, fairly intuitive to most of us. You need to know what you're doing, because if you don't know what you're doing, you're never going to be able to produce something that works. It doesn't matter how much you communicate, it doesn't matter how big you, great your understanding is of all the parts that make up your company, that doesn't matter because you don't have the skills to actually produce anything. Now, the fallacy in many people's thinking here is that this is the only thing that matters, that just you being as good as humanly possible at this coding thing. That's all there is to this industry. That's all there is to this profession. And it's simply not true. What is true, on the other hand, is that this is your core. This is the foundation. If you're building a house, this is the foundation. Anything, if this is not rock solid, all the other things, they don't really matter all, all that much in comparison because you need to be able to produce. You need to be able to build good things. However, I will also say that you have to have a, a, an understanding of that just knowing how to write really good software is not the only thing that is, it's not, that's not the only thing I mean when I say skills. Skills can be, you know, being able to, like, that's where communication comes in, like to be able to talk to people, to be able to go into a situation and realize that, okay, I can write code in an absolutely beautiful harmony of perfection here, but that's probably going to be a really shitty decision because we're going to have these and these and these and these things happen very quickly which means that it's much more important for me to get focused on that and make that good enough so that we can actually progress. So it's a balancing act. Skills in software doesn't mean that you know every tool. It doesn't mean that you are a mathematical genius or like a programming god or something like that. It means that you consistently make good decisions on behalf of the project. Those are really good strong skills. Like, if, you, I'm, if you're the sort of person that can be put in this, into any project and you will just, regardless of what coding language it is, it doesn't matter what state the code base is, doesn't really matter who's working on it or whatever, you can just dive in, adopt all of the, like change to the situation, you can adapt to the situation and actually produce consistent results. That is true skill. That's the first part. And all of these parts, I will argue, you can't just pick, they are all needed. Without all these three, any product is more or less doomed to failure or it's going to be extremely hard to maintain. The second part is communication skills. You need to be damn certain that all the people within the company, especially in the team, the, the development team, that they have the same mental picture of what you're all doing. Because there's so many programmers out there who think that the success of the project is just down to how good they perform at an individual level. And it's simply not true. It is a team effort. Everybody's working together in, on the same sort of system. It's the same system. Everybody's touching the same code. So if you know what every part does and nobody else knows, all that's really happening is that the company has one developer who knows everything and everybody else kind of just fucks everything up. And you may think that that's useful to you in from a company value perspective and a salary perspective. And sure, short term it might be, but at the same time, the whole company suffers. And trust me when I say this, unless you have exclusive rights to every pull request and to every code change that touches your code, well, then at some point, all these people who don't really know what they're doing, they are gonna fuck you, fuck you up. They're gonna add own stuff in the six months after you develop this amazing, perfect code, you're gonna come back and you're gonna see that it's absolute shit. It's a pigsty of muddy code that doesn't make sense to anybody. And maybe you're gonna throw a fit about it or you can get good at communication. Communication is key uh, in any team sport or any team activity basically. You need to make sure that everybody has 
a, the same understanding of what the end goal is. You need to knowledge share, you need to be able to make sure that everybody feels comfortable to asking questions and suggesting things and having a very collaborative environment because it's not just about you, it is about that everybody can contribute to the same code base so that you can move at maximum velocity because if you can make everybody productive, that's going to outweigh one single person being productive every single day of the week. Third and lastly, is going to be having the bigger picture. Now, what do I mean by that? This is much more fluffy, but it is also important. Having the bigger picture means that you don't just understand what it is that you and your team are working on. You don't just understand the project. You understand how this directly benefits the company, the entire company. If, like the sales, like your entire product. This is the bigger picture. Understanding how the work that you do, even on a story level, you know that this story here is more important than that story over there because the company has these projects ongoing right now and the stakeholders are these companies and we know that our customers, they need this. This is more valuable from this entire grandiose tapestry of all these different people and all these connections. You realize that this, this story here fits into that slot over there. And that slot is a lot more important to fill up than this thing here. I've seen it so many times where companies and programmers, they start working on this completely pointless bullshit in comparison to all this other stuff that's going on. It is not important to fix some little trivial feature over here that is not so nice when you have a deadline approaching for a big project of some sort and this is a critical piece of work that kind of needs to be validated in order to make sure that you over deliver or that you that you really nail that presentation or something like that. I mean one of the best things ever is when you can have this when you have this grand understanding of the bigger picture and you realize that, oh, if I just get these things done here, the sales guys who are going to go in on the next pitch meeting, they're going to have something really cool to showcase to our customer, which might actually land them the deal. If you as the developer, you understand that what you do and what you prioritize actually has a very direct effect outside of your office space on the entire company and all the customers, that is key. It is so key. If you want to be a code monkey and be pretty much just someone who's like input requirement, output code, input requirement, output code. Sure, you can spend the most, most of your career being that sort of person, but the thing that really needs to happen, every company needs at least one or two of these developers in the company. The people who really stand out and make the real difference are the people who can understand this bigger picture, how all these pieces of work, like they understand that this is not just an arbitrary story that just, oh, fix this by or do this feature. It's not arbitrary. It's something that fits into a bigger picture that is that makes up the entire company. These people who get that, if they have the other two things, just hold on to them because they are so damn important. They make or break an entire company. So what I want you to take away from this is that at least for me, the things that get this, the, the, the stuff that gets things done in programming is number one skills. You need to be a solid developer. You need to be able to consistently be able to deliver results and make good decisions on behalf of the project. That doesn't mean that you know every single thing or that you know every single cool new library. It means that you know how to get shit done. You get results. They st and you create solutions that are sustainable, things that don't produce bugs, but things that doesn't turn to legacy six months later. Number two, you are a strong communicator. You need strong communication skills within a software team. In order to get everybody aligned, in order to be able to make sure that all the things are moving in the right direction, in order to get stuff done, you need people and people depend on communication. If you're doing your thing over here and your coworkers doing your thing, their thing over there, you're never going to align and also that you're actually going to fail the project or get legacy and other problems down the line. Communication is key because software development, development is a team activity. Third and lastly, you need to have a bigger picture. Having an understanding of how the features that you are developing, how the stories that you are working on actually fit into the long term vision of the company and how all of these different stakeholders depend on the work that you do and their stake in what you do, what that stake is. If you can understand that, then everything just becomes a big, it's like looking at the matrix code, you just figure out, oh, 
you have all these flows and all these dependencies that just burrow down like a tree to this one thing that you're working on. And then you know, oh, this thing here is not as important as this thing here. And then you throw that away and you can focus on the thing that actually makes the big difference. Have a great day.